Hello, I am Endlessness and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. And in this video, I wanted to make a guide on the Genova birth battle in the extra section of Chapter 6 FF7 storyline. And recommended power for this battle is 209,000. Genova birth doesn't have elemental weakness, but also doesn't have elemental resistance. So that means if you have a good elemental DPS weapon, and especially with the Arcanum costume, you're most welcome to use it here. But also you can decrease Genova's physical or magical defense. But since Genova uses powerful magic attacks, you'll have to bring, or you might want to bring something against that to lower that magic attack. Also, Genova can inflict magic defense down on your entire team, fatigue and fog. So we have to use some utilities in this battle. I have set up my team and I'll be using Barret, Cloud and Aerith. And my team's power is the same as recommended power for this battle. And Barret will be my debuffer, Cloud will be my DPS and Aerith will be my healer. And I use this new limit break Breath of the Earth on her. It's a little bit weaker than Healing Wind, but it removes physical and magical defense debuffs on all allies. And since Aerith is my healer, she uses Fairy Tail and I put Mithril Lord on her because it increases magic defense of all allies. But if you don't want to use Mithril Rod, you could use um, the Cloud's Bandage Sword instead. Also the Triangle Sigil and since Aerith is my healer, I put the Asuna Fog and Fatigue on her. And also, her sub weapons are all event weapons, so one with HP and both with heal, but all have magic defense. So, Aerith has 7.7 HP and 2.2 heal, but also 181 magic defense. Then I have Barret with the satellite beam, limit break, heavy hauser for some DPS, and solid bazooka. To decrease magic attack and I know it's level 1 but I can't be bothered to level up only for this battle but Barret has two sigils one triangle one X sigil it doesn't matter which sigil you use for this battle it can be triangle or X but I just put them here but also one is physical one magical and then one sub weapon to boost his HP a little bit and two other ones to boost his physical attack. So 8.7 HP, 2.7 physical attack and magic defense 126. Then I have Cloud with this climb hazard limit break. Also Obi-Wan Zedane so he doesn't do too much DPS but you should put your best DPS weapon on him. Also I have his Buster Sword and two sigil, sorry, one sigil, one triangle sigil, and all the other slots that you don't need, you can put any any stat stick on them. And also the event weapon to boost his attack a little bit, HP and magic defense sub weapon, and to boost his the third one is to boost his physical attack a little bit. So 9.2 HP, physical attack. 2.9 and magic defense 143. Also, if you want to use Tifa, of course you can use her or any other character that has this magic attack down weapon. And I use those new limit breaks because I don't use any elemental weapons. But if you have strong elemental weapons and you use them, especially with the Arcanum costume, you should definitely use summon for this. So if you have Murasame with Cloud, you should switch to Ramu, Skysplitter, to Hellfire, and so on. So, it is a fairly easy battle, but first let's wait for a stance to get to max. And I won't keep switching to Barret very often because he has a DPS weapon and the magic attack decrease weapons, so the AI should be able to do fairly well on its own. But ready laser, it won't hit very hard, but it will decrease the magic defense or of all allies. So switch to defense, and then it's up to you if you want to heal afterwards 
or wait because we'll have the sigil phase now. So it's up to you. One character will get stunned. It's Aerith, but the other characters, they will be able to do fairly well on their own. And of course, use your limit breaks whenever you're ready. I'll switch to Barret because I want that magic attack decrease. Double laser, it's not a big charged attack, but I will actually use this time to do those limit breaks because now they have some requirements. So Barret has to be below 80% HP for it to work and boss has to be debuffed for Cloud's limit break to work. So that's fine and just heal back and that's pretty much the whole battle but the second this sigil phase is a long one and Genova will regen her health so that's a little bit tricky also she used fatigue on all our characters but it depends what sigils you have if they are magic or physical but ideally you want to at some point remove that debuff and of course she might stun you sometimes and it's not worth using limit breaks because she has that resistance that's fine it's a long phase you have a lot of time to break those sigils but it's fog now so remember fog is magic so if you have any magic sigils you have to remove that effect Barrett has one so I have to do it and we should be fine I hope so at least we might actually not be fine. Damn. I underestimated it. Ah, we are very close here. But of course, if you have summons or limit breaks, use them immediately whenever you can. So actually, I might use Claim Hazard here. They are not very powerful. But since you can use them very often, that's I find that interesting. And Cloud, let's remove that from you. And Tail Laser, again, she's debuffed, so it won't hurt you very much. Even if she's not debuffed, it won't be a very... It won't hurt very much. I won't heal here, just because I am hoping to get Barret's limit break for it to work. So again, switch defense on that tail laser, but that's basically the, the, say, the whole battle. It's only tail laser. And another limit at the scissor phase, and that will just switch in between. But here, again, limit breaks. The summons, uh, as I already mentioned, if you have elemental weapon summons, they, they will do a lot more damage. But those limit breaks are situational and since they are something new, I, I quite like to see them. And of course, remove the debuff. And I will switch to Barret since that magic attack down is about to run off. And here, of course, when you see that double laser, you can always switch to defense. And fog gas, again, everyone is fogged, so we have to remove that effect. And always, when you have to use fog or Asuna or fog, always use it on Aerith or your healer first. And then just bar it. And now, as you can see, there are no other phases. It just ready laser again. And until you, 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 you kill the boss, that's the same thing over and over again. Ah, 
I will use those again. They won't kill it, but it will be very close. And I will heal here. Never mind, the battle is over. Like I said, it's it's a very easy battle. I was actually surprised because most of those very, those extra hard battles after the chapter gets released, some of them they are very hard, and I was just surprised that this one it, it was very surprisingly easy compared to that first soldier's Akana Gallant Baller. That was very very tough battle, but here. I, I hope that you also will find this battle very easy. Yeah, sure, you need some utilities like those Asunas, magic defense buff, magic attack debuff, but overall, it's just a little bit longer battle, that's all. But if you have more DPS, then it'll be much shorter battle for you. But, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next one.